Okay, and we're live. What's up, Stu? How are you, man? <laughs> Hanging in there. Recovering from Turkey Day and Black Friday and everything else. Did you buy any uh, baseball cards on your Black Friday? I didn't. I've been so busy with other things. I just stayed away from everything, like retail, online, um, for Black Friday. I really didn't take advantage of anything. Well, maybe you'll take advantage of Cyber Monday. Yeah, I know. It's That's the thing now. Like, all, It used to be like more of a thing. I think now it's just like, you know, the, the sales are, are everywhere and like the, the really good ones on Black Friday are gone instantly anyway. So, I don't know. It seems like maybe more effort than it's worth to me. Well, you know who knows sales? Who's that? Bo knows sales. Bo, does Bo know sales? Bo knows everything. Well, he knows cellos. Yes. At least he knew uh, football cellos. Let's see if he knows uh, baseball. Um, so we got two uh, active lottos going into the um, to this. If you guys haven't watched uh, our 88 uh, Tops football cello break, we had a bow, a really nice, it's right over here, Alex R. pulled, um, uh, so Alex R. has an active lotto. Remember this there it is. gradable Bo Jackson uh, football rookie. And then Roger M. <laughs> Roger M. says, thank you very much. Uh, he has a Bo Jackson on the back. And um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I was literally pulling the plastic as Stu was telling me, no, no. And Roger M. was adamant about not ripping that back. So Roger M., thanks you very much, Stu. I, I, I'm always looking out for Roger. Um, I would think that, you know, if you find a bow or an, another notable card on the front of one of these cellos, we should probably have an internal discussion about whether you should rip the pack or not. I guess we'll see. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's definitely, you know, like, I mean, Bonds, Maguire, we don't want to rip those on the front um, for sure. Yeah, maybe a Conseco, maybe. A, a Conseco Gold Sorry. Cup, absolutely. Um, Alex R is is wanting to hit a bow, though, for to win his lotto. So there's that. Everyone else like, we can be maybe a little liberal with, but. As it comes, I guess we'll discuss it. Yeah, it's. It'll be a working rule. We'll. we'll uh, but this is cool because this has never been open, so we don't know who's on the front or back. Or we got 24, uh, 24 unseen packs before. So let's see who we got. Roger M wants a bow on the front or back, and he gets the grand prize. And he doesn't get it right away, but um, I see a. Is that? Oh, I thought it was Cal Ripken for a second. It's not. Well, no, no one overwhelming on the front, but um, we'll start with Alex R. We'll check I can with... tell you something kind of uh, funny that, you know, as much 87 tops as the two of us have opened in our lives and in the last couple of years anyway, there's uh, some funny little error cards in this set that I didn't know about until uh, I did a little bit of extra deep digging for this uh, break. I think it's Boddicker on so the back. So if, if I happen to spot anything, I'll let you know, but... Are there any like really um, like valuable errors, or are they just fun errors? I feel that they were corrected. They were corrected, so they're mostly uh, like copyrights and trademarks missing from cards. Gomez, not too bad actually. A little bit of stain on the. Yeah. Well, if you don't pull a bow, you're you're eating one. <laughs> if we don't pull a bow, I'm gonna eat a piece of gum. There you go. Ken Phelps, total average leader. Tony Walker. We got really good centering, I'll say, to start out with. Greg Gross, and the um, a, just a little bit of warp to these um, to these top ones, just a little bit. They're uniform, but they just have a little bit of a warp to them. Um, uh, the P, if you guys have looked at PSA 10, we hate to quote those prices, but the the Bonds, the McGuire, the Barry Larkin, there's there's several that are. Um, that have some value to it. So um, this is really nice centering to start with. Um, make sure I hold them center. But um, George Brett, there we go. First Hall of Famer. Well, first Hall of Famer note. I think we had Dave Parker. Goose Gossage. Pff, excellent centering. Look at this. Jose Uribe. You guys want to put that on uh, eBay for like seven grand? See what happens. And Pasqua. Uh, I mean, you can. Jim Rice, oh, another Hall of Famer. You can Famer. open seven tops a million times, and it still never gets old. It's just such a great set, so fun to. Let's leave that. So um, 
Yeah. I'm just overwhelmed by the consistent um, centering um, so far. Willard, Dan Gladden, and Boddicker. That's a good first pack, for centering anyway. Um, saw there was like a Doug Drabeck rookie somewhere in there, but I don't know if we're sleeving those anymore. I guess we um, we skipped over Doug this time, <laughs> this time around. There'll probably be another opportunity to, to sleeve Doug. Really nice, uh, nice centering, though. I'm impressed with that to start. So uh, Alex R is looking for a bow, any bow, to win um, any of the 2020 Blasters. So I have a Series 1, Series 2, and I picked up some updates. So if he wants one of any of the 22 or 2020 Series, are I... Are we opening... If he hits it, are we opening it? Well, we, he can't answer. Actually, actually, what did I say in the preview? Um, I wish we had a live feed. Um, eventually, we'll have a live feed. Um, but um, where's our spring fever? Can't we just, like, make the executive decision? I think Series 2 was what I said in the preview, um, was Series 2. So um, so that would be our default go-to. Um, that gum is not eating that piece of gum. That's got some, mm -hmm. like, organic growth on it. Kirk Gibson, Barry Larkin, hey, that's our first big rookie, and look at the yep. centering. Nice one. Really nice. Hall of Famer. Nice centering on it. Yeah, if that's a, a Tiffany, it's like, I looked at the PSA 10 pricing on some of these just to know um, there's Tony Gwynn All-Star. And um, a Tiffany of that Barry Larkin's like 300 bucks. Um, I got excited for a second, but it's probably Tiffany's like, the best. you know, $60 card and in, um, in standard. Keith Hernandez, a little bit left to right. Good picture there, Scott Bankhead, Gary Carter. Just a little bit left to right. We'll sleeve that. We we usually sleeve the kid. Fitz Coleman, second year. A little bit left to right. Not as good a picture as his '86 cards are much better. T Pat Tabler. Tabby. Yeah. Kind of. No, nobody really talks about Pat Tabler, but he had like three, two or three like. Like tremendous All Star seasons. Um, yeah, I think he even was in contention for Dwight Evans' uh, batting title, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Um, he was. Uh, he had a crazy record. I want to say in 1985 or six. I know, like his one of his Don Ross cards had like Mr. Clutch like written on the card, and I think he like broke a record or held a record for like the highest average with runners in scoring position or something like that. Yeah, like game winning, game winning RBIs or something like that. Yeah, Mr. Clutch. It says on his '86 Donruss card, like where it would say "Rated Rookie" or something. It says Mr. Clutch. You got Reed Nichols on the back. Unless I'm completely making that up. And John Henry Johnson on the front. How many three name no, people are are there in I, a? I, I know when I was doing Wax Wars. John Henry Johnson. I have no memory of this guy whatsoever. I, I really don't either. That name just, like, this is almost like, like a bizarro that, card. Like that card. Like, I have no memory of that card. And you've opened, like, a case of 87 tops, and probably so have yeah. I. I don't remember. What is that? John Henry Johnson? Seems like where, a joke. Like, where have you been hiding, somebody, buddy? Uh, <laughs> Tony like a custom card. Storm Davis? <laughs> That's funny. Darnell Coles? Oh, nice. There he is. Oh, a little bit left to right. A little bit left to right, but that's our first big, big rookie. The first. Uh... I mean, he's got a Bonds and a Larkin in his stack. I mean, he's, yeah, Larkin is good... uh, Lee Mazzilli. I mean, this stack is shaping up pretty good. Yeah. Denny Martinez. Tom Lawless. Oh, good. That, I mean,. That just excited, like, you know, the 10-year-old in me um, when I was... Yeah. <laughs> when we were opening these packs initially, that was, like, the chase card. Rafael Santana. Jimmy Key. And Reed Nichols. All right, Alex R. I, you know, the, honestly, the, the bow, you know, not to get anyone's... Not to be Debbie Downer already, but the bow can be a tough pull. I know from... Other 87 tops breaks. 
and just from opening them myself it's not the easiest pull so good luck Alex and and Roger but we hit a berry this is a little bit left to right to do and yeah uh, Steve I'm not sure who this is but it's not it's not Bo Steve Firevid, Lucky and Diotti. Yeah, the gum is sticking to like one card, so you usually got you got like one gum card. Uh, it's a Hall of Famer this time, unfortunately. Sixty one or on uh, Roger Merritt's movie that was on TV recently, I was watching, which I hadn't seen before, and Tom Candiotti's in the movie. Is he? Jesse Orozco? Yeah, you like that acting role. What is the name of this again? Oh, Inkavilia? About six, 61. It's like this Roger Maris movie directed by Billy Crystal. Oh, yeah. I it's think like, I did see that when it came out. It, it came out a while ago, right? Yeah. I don't. It's not like the best movie or anything, but... I did see that when it came fun, out. Uh, fun fact, just that Candiotti was in it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, all right. Mike Davis... Jim Beatty, uh, Billy Sample, Kubi Brooks, Mike Schmidt, Dickie Knowles, and no bow in our first stack, but we uh, we got a couple of our big rookies. Um, Alex R is already won the lotto with that, like well, near Jim. I mean, he got the bow football rookie that looks like damn near perfect and then he's got bonds and larkin and all these others all these others and he's got doug drabeck raw <laughs> absolutely you've got a you've got a nice couple of stacks alex nothing to be ashamed of buddy you got uh you well got your money's worth and that that bow all kidding aside that bow is really nice back there um so nice couple stacks roger m all right we're uh we're rooting for you, you can win roger m has two ways to do it front or back or the bow inside so but the grand prize would be epic Cardinals Cardinals uh, looks like um, maybe Vince Coleman on the back and Nelson on the front and we're gonna rip think like how many 87 tops cards there are in the world like all the regular wax all the cellos then there's rack packs then there's jumbo packs then there's vending mm -hmm. then there's factory it's like 200 different prints they made a lot of it and like 98 percent of it is off cut <laughs> that's yeah. why that's why there's still uh, a lot of value to the to the perfectly centered ones and we've we've had a few None of our big ones. Um, that's a weird one to be stuck together. Kevin Bass. Kurt Young. Al McRae. If we do happen to hit a bow, let's try and to Dyson? remember the... Uh, let's try to remember if there's, if there's a sequence. Yeah, we'll, we'll backtrack um, if we hit it. Uh, all right. Eric Davis towards the end of his like you know MVP run where he was just putting up insane numbers and then he kind of came back down to earth but see him for old time's sake and where are we stuck here yeah it's stuck pretty good on some of these we got a, snuck a peek at a Daryl Cubs leaders <laughs> Andres Galarraga do you have a um, uh, do you have an archive of your wax wars anywhere, Sue? I think it's on Facebook. Nolan Ryan. Yeah, that Galarraga was his top rookie. Well, obviously it's not his. Uh, he had an '86 update card, but that's his first regular first top card. card. FTC in the old Becketts. Nikwes. Mark Bailey.
Daryl. The straw. I used to love this card. That's great. Great card. Jim Clancy. There's a Trebecki. Kevin Romine, Tony Pena. George Brett. Not as quite as yeah. good centering as the first one, but um, we hit we're hitting that run again, huh? Jose Uribe, right, there's yeah. Drayback. The second Drayback that didn't get a sleeve. There's a Drayback. We're gonna sleep this one. Don't even. It, uh, <laughs> it snuck. It snuck by us this time again, but we uh, we got it. We caught it. That was like thirty-five cents and going up. The old Becketts were great. Um, well, one of the reason I have, you know, I, I developed such an affection for strawberry back in the day. Um, I know that uh, I was, you know, I was going to do a video on it, but I, um, it kind of got covered in like some of the jabs. Um, but um, Daryl Strawberry's on the cover of the Beckett that I'm in um, from back in the day, where I was published in, so in Beckett. So, um, so I always had like, you know, that issue up on my wall, and started getting, you know, paying a little more. I was always a Mets fan, so. That's so cool. But I was going to do an issue on the, um, on my on my Beckett, but then I would have to, in or, in order to really do the um, to do it correctly, I would have to dig through my trunk to get my picture of myself and Dale Long from like the story in, in Beckett or whatever. Um, don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. So, uh, Indians, is this a um, on, he, his rookie is on the disabled list. <laughs> that's a that's a rough start, but he got a card out of it. Let's see who it is. Uh, I don't think it's anyone uh, ground shaking. Tom Waddle. Uh, so he started off his career on the DL. Mike Flanagan, Ruben Sierra, record breaker. What was the record? Oh, youngest player to switch. I, I actually remember that that headline when he did that. Um, Jack Morris, Roger Craig, Dave Kingman. Um, yeah, this, he actually didn't play in '87. Um, called it quits in 80, at, at the end of '86. Uh, so that's his that's his final card. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to start um, Bulldog. Start setting to the side gum that looks really um, edible. Um, John Crook, is that a rookie? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Bob Walk, Keith Hernandez, Gary Carter again. All right. Yeah. And then Tom Waddle with his. Oh no, he had already been up, and then he got sent back down. Um, yeah, he he appeared in forty nine games, fifty eight games. Got sent back down. Yeah, he had, a, he had a weird little ride right through the middle of the 80s, Tom Waddle. Hey, before we open this pack, I'm getting like a computer needs to reboot again for some reason, like on my Skype. Is is that going to be a problem? Like, are you able to pause the recording? Um, I'll, I'll keep going, and then you'll just you'll just Skype back in, because um, I, I kind of can't stop, but um, but that's fine. All right. Just reboot, okay. and then I'll, um, like, message me, because I have to dial you for whatever reason for it to work. Okay. All right, I'm going to reboot right now. Okay. All right, Stu is rebooting, but we're going to keep rolling. And um, when he comes back, he'll appear right there, I think. I don't think I have to reboot anything. Hopefully not. All right, who do we got on the back here? Um, eh, well, he batted 175, so um, I think we're going to go ahead and rip. Good luck, Roger M. Your final pack. I'll go really slow because um, I'd hate to pull Poe and uh, Stu not be here. Sometimes reboots can take a bit, so. That looks like an edible piece of gum, possibly. It'll definitely be one from like the bottom, like the most protected. Billy Bean, Pete Ladd. Sorry, I get more censored here. 
Pete Ladd, Buddy Bell, Bobby Bonilla, that's a rookie, Aaron Dalton, and Toby Hara. Steve Crawford, Vince Coleman. Uh, it's not a good sign because we didn't see we didn't see him in this. We had this run already. Uh, they will break out of it. Denny Martinez. We saw this run before. We didn't see Bo. But maybe we can break out. Tom Lawless. Juan Augusto. Dwight Gooden. All right. We got a little bit of a send off. I don't know if Roger M is a is a Mets fan, but that was a cool card back in the day. We didn't get a bow, Roger M. Sorry, buddy. You got a bow, you just didn't get a, a lotto bow. Um, or a grand prize bow, but we tried. Bobby Benia. Alright. So I got Roger M here. And this is Danny R. Um, what time are we at? 21 minutes. I'm going to take like two minutes and um, take like a slight break and see if, um, leave everything right here, see if Stu comes back. Let's take a peek right here. Who we got? Brewers rookie. Brian. All right, well, we're ripping that pack when we come back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, wait. Is Stu back? Stu's back. All right. I was going to grab a soda, but Stu's back, so... Did I miss any bow? You didn't miss Bo. You only missed one pack because I was I was kind of waiting on you. Um, so uh, Roger M got a uh, got a couple nice cards. Um, a Dwight Gooden, a couple nice cards as a send off, but he did not get a bow. So um, we're uh, we're moving to Danny R. and we're ripping our our first pack for Danny R. So that means the lotto is closed for business. So there's no lotto, unfortunately. Um, um, you know, I didn't set up a, maybe, um, well, you know what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to let you decide on the, um, uh, as kind of a lotto for the channel. Um, I have two, two options for the, the, you know, December giveaway. Oh, nice. Wow. That's good centering. That's really good centering. Look at that. Yeah, that looks real nice. Wow, really nice. Oh, on, and on that Gooden, or that's strawberry. Never mind. Strawberry. Um, I still sleeve that because Danny R probably um, TTM's. Uh, there's a Lee Smith. That's a really nice uh, McGuire. That McGuire's really nice, right out of the gate. Um, no, what I was gonna say is uh, our giveaway. You're gonna. I'm gonna give you two options, and you'll. You'll pick whatever you think. The only difference is, um, like I have, uh, so here are the two options, and I'll let you decide. And you'll see the difference. Um, uh, 89 Fleer um, from a sealed case, from a sealed error case. Okay. Whoa. So that or 82 Donruss from a sealed case. The, the difference would be, we would have six to give away, um, you know, six stacks of six rather than four stacks of so more people could be in it in eighty two. Away the. Say that again. You're giving away the Fleer. Yeah, it's going to be like the yearly giveaway from for whoever. Um, uh, I have actually two of those. I look through all my stuff to see what I have doubles of, and I have that's one that I have two of. So that's going to be like you know. Kind of like a year-end giveaway. Is there, is there a better breaker or more mensch of a breaker than you? I mean, you just give stuff away. It's you like, don't do this for profit. 
It just uh, you passed Ruben Sierra, a rookie. You didn't even acknowledge it. Did I? Uh, oh yeah. That's that uh, can't that can't stand. I was actually looking. At, I was, you caught me. I was actually looking at the. Uh, yeah, I did. Wow, look at that. The centering's not bad either. There's a um, anyone that's on Collector's Universe. There's a great thread that I found, and Stu, you'll love it actually. Um, where they grade like kind of the you know semi worthless '80s rookies, which have not have gained in value. They're not worthless anymore, and. Um, I mean, just seeing like PSA tens of like you know Ruben Sierra, Danny Tartable, like just you know Corey Snyder, right. like all the guys. Like there's, it's just it's it's called like um, PSA graded stars of the '80s or something like that. And it's I love it. Um, but we've got a couple candidates so far. This McGuire could be one for that uh that thread. Well, I'm gonna top of this. His first like open A's card. I would right, say, uh, like eighty-five. Is his rookie? Yeah, you know that. It's, it's been so established. But honestly, if it was today, this would be like the card because like college yeah. uniforms and pre uh, pro uniforms have kind of you know taken a hit a little bit in card value. I don't know if you've noticed that. No, I have. All right, so no bow, no stars that I recognize. So we're ripping. Ken Schramm. He actually was like a twins leader. I saw a fun stat earlier today, Stu. Um, in 1968, Bob Gibson started 34 games that season. Whoa. Do you know how many complete games he had? Tell me 34. <laughs> it's not 34, but it's 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 equally as 28 i mean it's incredible i mean yeah those are back in the days when pitchers would throw till their arms fell off i guess that all stopped with uh dave jarecki <laughs> yeah and free agency and everything else you know um like pitchers got a little you know but i mean you're right they just they worked them right into the ground but i mean that's just well, insane uh, look at uh, someone like sandy koufax who like literally pitched until his arm was like literally black and blue mm -hmm. That's nice, Sess. Yeah, it's not a, his rookie. It's not. A, is it his first? No, it's not his first tops either. He had an eighty-six. You're right. Uh, Joe Carter. Look at the wood grain on like the Butch Weiniger card that came before Joe Carter. It's like a lighter shade of wood. It is. They they've done that a few times. It's um. Yeah. The the wood's not always the exact same, you know, shade um, from the print runs. Uh, Tito Glenn Wilson. I remember you guys used to get excited anytime there was just an irrelevant double consonant in 87 tops. Uh, yeah, everything. 87 tops is loaded with the double letter, last names and first names. The double consonant, but just like out of nowhere. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, I remember like that. Porn, uh, por they're like porn names. Yeah, you guys had a, like the first time I ever watched it. Oh, snap. What is that, Bo? No, no, no. It can't be. He didn't play in the Expos in 83, 84. No, no, no. <laughs> it was it was Royals 86, though. 112. It's not, though. Um, he wouldn't. He did not play in the Expos organization. He was at Auburn then. So, yeah, it's not him. But Salazar, but no. Um, got excited you for that. You try this. to guess who the players on the back are. It's tough sometimes. Like Sub game. Really? Yeah, really just... Yeah, By the way, I'm definitely going to choose the 89 Fleer if it's up to me. I guess we can still like discuss it, but... No, know, it's up to you. Nothing, so... says happy, nothing says happy holidays like pulling a uh, Rick face. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, nice centering on the Wally. Nice card. Stone Cold rookie right there. One of the uh, Upper Deck uh, founders. Founders of Upper Deck and initial investors, yeah. Took the cash instead of the shares. Yeah, he was a he. Yeah, he was an early profiteer. And um... speaking of uh, upper deck uh, profiteers, the second card that you have there under your thumb. Oh, that's right. Uh, under there. Yeah. So how, actually, speaking how of, did he get involved? Because he, he came in later, right? He ended up be, becoming friends with uh, the owner, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. 
I don't know if we're ever going to make jack of all trades too, but it's definitely like being pitched and pitched and pitched and pitched. But there's a lot of dirt on Reggie Jackson. I'll put it that way. That would be fun. That would be really fun, actually. Last pack, Danny R. Oh, let me sleep to Wally. Um, how could you not? It was so successful on, on Netflix. Like, it was, like, number one trending for, like, weeks, I remember. I know. It's just uh, the pandemic. You know, it's like people aren't – these networks are, like, slowing down their spending. Well, we hope to see it for sure. We're, we'll all be eager. Yeah, maybe we'll do a GoFundMe through our through, – uh, through our breaks. Yeah. And well, just, <laughs> we're relying on our, our, this channel. It may take a bit, but um, maybe through all the breaker channels, we could get like a co-op going. All right. Mark Langston. Danny R's channel is gaining some steam, I noticed. He's got quite a few subscribers now. I knew he would. That's um, he's, well, he's his, a charming guy. And his content is, is great. Like he's just, I love watching them. Like, and they're, they're quick. They're like four minutes long. Five minute videos, and, and he opens like five love, envelopes. Yeah, people love seeing uh, seeing what's inside. Steve Carlton, seeing the reveals, seeing who signs, who doesn't. Um, good stuff, Danny R. And he 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 did respond about us making fun of his fleer flair. He says that he gets he says beer like bear also. Um, so he get that a lot of people make fun of him for that. Up, oh, I caught this one. It's not quite the centering of the other one, but we'll sleeve that. Steve Yeager. O to B. Nice. It's a second year O to B. Don Mattingly. Nice. It's our first one of that. Yes. Just a little bit top to bottom. But that was one of the chase cards for sure. Back in 87. So Danny R got a really nice McGuire. I mean, that's yeah, that's nice. worth your buying right there. That, especially that, if that's gradable as a nine or something. That's really nice. And I'm sure there's some TTM fodder for, for Danny R in there. That's a nice stack. It really is. Yeah, he, he his and just to plug his last video, Danny R uh, did a, a Beckett reveal. He sent like six or seven, maybe not that many, maybe like four or five into Beckett for authentication, not grading, just to authenticate the auto, autos, and they all came back as authentic, you know, um, but uh, McGuire's no joke. Seriously nice. All right, Danny R. Good stuff. Um, we're, we are going to lower middle. Dan S. Dan S. was the king of the boss. Um, not so much Bo. Yeah, I, so. I, kind of, I kind of feel like Dan S. has got some good mojo. Well, he was he was pulling bosses when we were looking for him. So let's see if we can see if we can do a Bo. Still nothing on the front or back. Reds, reds, reds. That's Nick Olasky, I think, maybe. Nick Estaski? Estaski, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And Brian Downing on the front. And it looks like I... Yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm starting to earmark some gum now, just in case. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need it. Oh, yeah. Better start eating. <laughs> I'm picking out. There's a Danny Tartable Gold Cup. Um... Danny T. Danny Danny S. No, no, I'm saying like we have da Roger M. Danny R. Danny, uh, you know, now we just pulled a Danny T. Oh, I got you, Danny Tartable. I got you. Sorry. Some of my jokes don't lend. <laughs> like uh, when uh, Bo Jackson gets a gets a hold of a fastball inside. Sometimes those they don't land. He just hits them and they go forever. Sweet music. Tony Gwen. I always like that card for some reason. So it's an odd one to pick because it literally doesn't have his face at all. Yeah. But um, it's cool that it's unique Willie that way, though. Willie McGee and the Kasaski. All right, Dennis, we got a couple sleeve sleeve ones for you. Hall of Famer and a hot rookie back in the day, Danny Tartable. Excellent player. 30 home runs a few times. Went to the Yankees. Apparently not, apparently not much of a human being. No? Was on sign a few got, times. He's got some troubles. Does he? There's Problematic. A few of these guys. Yeah. 
Like, uh, I think he, like, didn't pay his child support and he got arrested and, I don't know, some kind of story. That's never good. All right, no bow on front or back, so we're ripping. All right. We the double oh, wait pasta. a minute. Ray soft. Okay. Been waiting for that guy. Have so you? can you tell me, is there a, a, there's a copyright line. Oh, is it a possible error? Yeah, on the back maybe? There's no D before the copyright, and then there is a D before the copyright line? Where is the copyright line? I don't even know what that would oh, be. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, look at that. Um, I got to get the focus right. There no D? I can't see if your feed is focused, but it is in the main feed, and it is. It does have that little D on the line right before the C. Okay, so then that's a corrected version. That's corrected. Oh, it's supposed to have that, because it looks like it's not it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to have the D oh. for some reason. That's funky. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks, it looks weird. Yeah, right. it does look weird. <laughs> it's corrected then. Lance Parrish. Todd Worrell. Rookie record breaker for saves. Dude had like 38 saves, I think, and like a one point something ERA. Like a right handed manly for a second. Danny Heap. Brooke Jacoby. Underrated player. Pete Rose. It's one of his last cards, huh? Yeah. Bob Horner. Definitely one of his last cards. The guy right before Bob Horner is like another example of that, like, double. There, Jim Wynn with the two ends. <laughs> the double consonant for no reason. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's almost like a joke how how often they appear in this set. Yeah. <laughs> like even like below. <laughs> like why Glenn yeah. with two ends everywhere? There's like there's multiple Glens with two ends, and it's, it's isn't Glenn yeah, a one in name? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I thought I it was. I I, I I would never spell it with two ends. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I don't know any Glens, but. All right. So wow, we got a uh, we got a vet on the back. Let's see if we can figure out who that is. Giants. What? A ton of Expos, many years with the Expos through the late 70s into, into the 80s. And then Cardinals, Twins, Cubs, oh my gosh, all over the place. Um, Lee Smith. Say it again? Lee Smith? <laughs> no. No, because it, 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 it was in the 70s. He was it, Giants, uh, uh, then Expos. What team is he currently playing for on as of this? It looks like Cubs. Two years with the Cubs. Tim Wallach? <laughs> Does he go back to no. the early 70s? No. I don't think so. Definitely not. I don't know. I don't either. Randy Sink. Eh, we're, st we're striking it out. Chris Spear? I did. Yeah, I would not have known. That. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. No. Who knew that Chris Spear had... Had such a career. Look at that. Long Hall of Famer. Adlock. Roy Lee Jackson. Getting ready to sing. Uh, uh, Hall, of Famer, Hall of Fame singer. There you see Scott Gartlitz. Oh, there you go. The Natchi. Oh, snap. A little left to right on that will, but nice. And then and then right to left on the on the cow. Wait, so on that Lugo. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Is there a trademark next to the Angels logo? Yes. Okay. So this so is corrected. Know. Yes. Yeah. We've established that now. I guess I'll stop asking. Well, no. We, we, we still want to check. And then Kevin Mitchell on the back. Did he take? Yeah, he took the gun. Oh no. He got stuck to the gun card. Uh, very jabs. Eighty-three uh, or seventy-three tops gum. <laughs> yeah. So Clemens took it and protected Kevin Mitchell. Not bad, actually. It's definitely sleepable. I think uh, like well, the way we're, we're in Danny S's stack, stack, but... Like the way that Clemens' personal trainer protected him by not testifying? <laughs> That's right. Uh, the, the B12 shots, is that what it was? Yeah. Those were, those were some... Those B12 shots added, like, you know, 25 pounds of muscle to him and <laughs> gave him, like... Shots, black. 
flaxseed oil, creatine. There was all sorts of uh, stuff helping guys out that wasn't uh, allegedly <laughs> wasn't steroids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Randy St. Clair. I just mentioned him. <laughs> St. Clair? That's really cool. In the old Expos uniforms. Brooke Jacoby. We just saw this run. Who did we see in this run? Didn't we see... No, apparently not. All right, one more pack, Danny S. Danny S. I don't know who won the battle. Oh, well, no. Danny R is winning the Battle of the Dannys with that, that PSA Maguire. Um, yeah, I think so. You got a pr some pretty nice cards, Danny S. But, uh, all right, so nothing on the front. And then reds on the back. Yeah, I think we're I think we're ripping. Wade Rowden. I'll tell you what. I, I you know, how many cards are in this set? Is there 800 cards in this set? No matter how many times you open it. It feels like there's 1700 because <laughs> you just see new cards no matter how many times you open it. Ransky. You better get ready to eat some gum. We got two more stacks. I'm I'm not sweating it. And we got the Stu Stone upper right hot hot stack. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've, I've, but I I got I a couple a pieces. Good... I'm 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 literally I don't know if you guys can see. I'm I'm putting some yeah. some of the nicer pieces in a stack just in case. Well, Semi well. These are some new cards. Donnie Moore. Walford. Terrell, Pagliarulo. Well, we saw some new cards right at the end, Danny S., but um, you got some nice cards. There you but, go, Will uh, Clark. That Will Clark is nice. A few nice rookies. You got the all the bosses in the... in the. Uh, Worst case scenario, it's a cold winter. He can always burn them. David J., let me put this over here. All right, David J., good luck. We're still trying to hit Bo. <laughs> Bo has to know Cellos. He knows everything else. Johnny Ray. Tommy John. All right. Willie Wilson. These are some cards we haven't seen. Yikes. Of course, we still wish we hadn't seen. But yeah, I mean, there's now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not trying to be again Debbie Downer, but um, how many cards are in this set and how many in this box? So we're definitely seven, not. Seven, 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 yeah, it's not, but, it's not, it's not a guarantee to hit anything. Right. There's only like 500 cards in the in the box. Maybe more. How many in a cell box? I don't know. Like Herndon and Terry Pendleton. I still want to hit one. All right, who? Brett. Oh, Saberhagen's on the back. I knew it was a young royal. It is not Bo. All right, Steve Sachs. My Greenwell. That was a hot card back in '87, '88. Alan Newman. The Gator. Trammell, Hall of Famer, Mike Witt, Mike Witt again, <laughs> the Angels leaders, mm. and Bobby Thigpen. Bobby Thigpen rookie card. Was it? Spring Fever. Joe Cowley. Chris Benedict. Greg Harris. Getty. He's box the bo boy. Yeah, the box card. We have to sleeve that for sure. Junior Ortiz. By the blue. Lacey. Gidry. He's a Hall of Famer. What was his? Wow, so like Ron Gidry, the Gator, and Mike Greenwell, the Gator. Both Gators in his stack. Yeah, that's right. And Gidry, Gidry had something else too, wasn't he? Like, uh, was it Louisiana Lightning or 
Louisville Lightning or something like that? Something like that. I he he had something else up. going on, maybe from when he was like a minor leaguer. I can't remember, but. Two great Yankees. Uh, don't, is Rigetti a Hall of Famer? He might be yeah, as, a, as a reliever. Louis, Louisiana Lightning. That's it, Louisiana Lightning. All right, New York yes, team leaders. Seven names. All right. And he was nick nicknamed Gator and Louisiana Lightning were his two main nicknames. Yeah, that's what I thought. Steve Farm. So if we ever and we're probably we're probably good on eighty seven tops, but if we ever have to rip it again. What is the over under like per pack as a lotto? Would it be like four or five? Because we've hit like three before without even thinking about it for double consonants. Oh, yeah, that's really funny. I would say like you're guaranteed like one per pack. <laughs> I think so. Like maybe like if you hit like four per pack, it'd be like a lotto. I still feel like we haven't seen some of these guys. Jerry Mumphrey, Scott Terry, Jody Davis. If you're a football Terry. fan, there's like uh, all sorts of COVID stuff going on. Breaking uh -oh. news all over the place. I better check my fantasy lineup. Oh, this was my uh, this was my flip card. This That's is the great. this is like the year I discovered flipping, and I won so many cards with that Jack Clark to the point where I think I even believed that. It had special powers. Um, it pulled me out of like oh, the leaner. I mean, just this. It was just an incredible card. And he had a great season this year, actually, too. Um, all right, Cardinals legend on the back, and um, I don't know who that is. Started in rookie in '74. Let's see, Bob Ford, Porsche. All right, David J. Come on, future stars coming up. We haven't seen any future stars. We haven't seen the Palmera, have we? No. Oh. Not. Hey, there's my boy. Look at I mean, the, uh, the the left yeah, or right man. is uh, really nice, huh? Said that right there. For a second. This is the only break channel that that sleeves Corey Snyder cards. I sleeve all the hot rookies of this year. Uh, I was sleeving the the Incavilia too. Um, Especially if they're good centering. And the and the joiner. Certainly uh I sleeve the Tartable. I gotta sleep Corey Snyder. That hot rookie class of eighty six was uh just one of my favorites. The best. Eighty six eighty six Don Ross the rookies. What a what a set that is. Yeah. Uh oh. We've seen these guys. David J. Oh, Daryl Strawberry? A nice one too. Sleeve that. On slot, Trevecki, and Bob Forsh. All right, Stu, it's going to... You know, yeah, it's going to come down to me. <laughs> it's going to be up to you, man. <laughs> I'm telling uh, you, Bo knows. Bo knows. He knows to wait for me. All right, David J. Well, this was not rigged, folks. This was from a sealed case. And just because I'm going to hit two bows in my stack, you cannot be upset. And you did hit the uh, the bow. Stu, not to not to be con confused with other uh, stews. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Exactly. We got. <laughs> we always do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's it now? Braves, Rangers, 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 and then went to the Braves. Billy Sample. That. So there's going to be a bow in this pack. Chili Davis? This is a bow pack. I mean, I just, I like that. I mean, we're not, we're not, uh, Billy Joe, I mean, we're, we're hitting some new cards. It seems like every, every pack or two. Look at that. Hey, yeah. Not as good as the other one, but still good. 
It's pretty good, it's though. Like, uh, strawberry strawberry uh, All-Star is the next card? Yes, it is. And Buckner. Gold Cup, Robbie. Lee Smith. Yeah, Larry Jones, so Larry Anderson I, I, with the knee. I knew it felt like a good pack. Big back, baby. Get ready to eat some gum, my friend. I actually hope I don't get the bow. No. We got to see Bo for the bow nose break. Don't say that. Well, maybe Esther. just set up the football like Bo didn't know this, this break. All right, who is that? Um, is that Brooke Jacoby, maybe? And then we got uh, Astros, Astros, Astros that moved to the Dodgers? Who played for the Astros for all that time and moved to the Dodgers? Uh, someone we don't know. Larry Anderson. Enos Cabell. These guys. Frank Wills. Oh, this is a good pack. This is a good pack. I don't, this, is yeah. the bow, this, is, this is the bow run right here. Top stack. Glenn no, Braggs? The double double letters. Still well? Glenn Braggs. Yeah, this is, uh, we've seen these guys. Yeah. Mohamed? Nah. Leo Cruz? Hernandez? We have seen this run, haven't we? Yeah. Sometimes it switches up. And, oops. Do I get to pick which piece of gum you eat? Um, well, <laughs> if you if you want to pick it from that group in the back, because all the like organic growth pieces I've quarantined, um, they're actually most of them have been good. There's a couple of the, from the top packs that definitely had some black spots in it. I'm I'm not eating those. It's interesting because kind of like we have done breaks where it like came down to the final pack, final card. Oh, we're definitely not giving up hope. And oh, snap! Was that Wally? That's Wally. That's a joiner pack. And yeah, who's that on it. the back? Um, someone that played a long time with a high ERA. I'm not sure who it is. Um, but we're ripping the leaders pack, and let's see who's on the back. Water. We didn't see Conseco either, by the way. We haven't seen Conseco. And we didn't see Palmero. I think I think we may have to rip the joiner pack. What do you think? It's up to you. Yeah, definitely rip it. I think we're gonna have to rip it if we don't see if we don't see Bo and Jose. Ozzy. I say rip it. Lamar Hoyt. The Hawk. Dale Murphy. That's a nice card. Nice cut there, too. I don't think we've seen that. Ken Dixon. I saw the Royals and I got excited. Gubisa. Roger McDowell. John Tudor. Dave Palmer. Riho. Man, I felt some new cards coming there. I don't know if you did, but maybe it continues into here. <laughs> this is our uh, our last stand. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, we did it. We did it. We did Griffey on the last pack. The last card in the last pack was a Griffey Junior, if you remember. Yes. Let's see if Wally can can bring us the same luck. I don't think he will, because we've seen Wally already. So if it's going to happen, it's going to be on the bottom stack. The split part, yeah? Yeah. That gum doesn't look half bad either. Well, get oh, no. ready to eat it. Not this piece. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> That's a parasite. Yeah. <laughs> it's like from, uh, what's the movie with the black parasites? I forgot. Uh, yeah, so we know it's not happening in this top stack. Prometheus. Glenn, every Glenn in the world is, of course, we know Glenn Hubbard, but Carl, Hitt, Carl Fisk, Jeff Reed, Lou Whitaker, 
All right, it comes down to this slow peel of a bottom. Will you be eating gum or will Bo know? Glenn we'll find out. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign for you. <laughs> Pankovitz? Oh, wait a minute. We haven't seen these guys. I don't think so. Mike Young? Rob Deere? Wow. We've not, we would have remembered Rob Deere. The Senseis? These are new cars. We don't have enough room. This is exciting. <laughs> we got a twin. These are new. Burt Blylevin. These are all new. You got a slower peel. Expo. Yeah. Okay. Tibbs. Not, we haven't. Phillies. Milt Thompson. I mean, just, Milt. just give us a royal to get excited. No, Mariners. No. Wow. Angels. No. <laughs> These are all new cards, too. No. Blue Jays. <laughs> oh, man. It's all going to come down here. Bo does not know. Jim Gantner. Oh, my goodness. What a horrible pack. This is exciting. It comes down Damn, to... It was not Pat Perry. We already saw the back guard. No, whoa. Oh, it's... we got... Yeah. We got two in the football cello, but none in the from a sealed no case. Canseco. We got two Maguires. Yeah, no Consecos, no no uh, Palmeros, no Bows. We got no future stars. That's right. We didn't get, like, the Devon White. Um, we didn't get Devon White either, yeah. I didn't see him in there. There were no future Which stars, means... were there? We had one, like Tim Piznarski, I think. But we got the we got a Barry Bonds. We got a couple really nice Maguires. You're right. I think the other one is just a touch nicer. Danny Ars is it's got a touch a touch nicer than yours. And we got no lottos, but we are gonna announce while I try to see if I can pick out a edible piece of gum. Uh, what did you say, Stu? Um, final call. Eighty nine fl eighty nine eighty nine flair. So we're gonna have 89 Fleer. That's gonna be the break. Um, we'll do it in a, in a couple weeks. We'll do it as our like you know Hanukkah Christmas break, and um, uh, the top four buy-ins of the year of 2020 will be already bought into the break as a as a. Well, are you gonna do are you gonna do one more paid break so like somebody can try to like squeeze in? I mean, I wasn't planning on it, but I can think about it. Um, we can always squeeze sure. one in. December's a long month. Um, this gun was ridiculous. <laughs> it's uh, honestly the first bite is you're like yes, tops gum. I'm then it's, I'm, um, I'm nine years yeah. old again. Yeah, and then the powder, the powder yeah. just starts to just it just powderizes and then it starts to liquefy. It's like it's thirty three year old gum, <laughs> and then you start to choke on it, and then it's just That's gone. Amazing. It's gone. 33 years old, that gum. It's Older like, than some of our viewers. It's like a couple little powder granules in my mouth, and that's it. It's gone. So do you want to eat another piece, you're saying? <laughs> I think I'm good. I'm good on gum. All right. All right, well, thanks well, for uh, everyone for buying in. Alex R. has a bow. Roger M. has a bow. Uh, football. And then um, everyone has some great cards. David J., Danny R., Danny S., and thanks, Stu Stone, for joining us. As always, Bo Knows Part 2. Yep. Well, hopefully we'll do another break before the freebie. So you'll let me know. Yeah, we'll see if we can squeeze in. But um, stay tuned for, for fun things in the future. And um, stay safe, importantly. And um, you, man. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care, man. Thanks, Stu. See ya.